Hello family, welcome back. In this video, I will be providing you with your July 2021 Charlotte real estate market update. Remember, this just covers the city of Charlotte and not the greater Charlotte area. The greater Charlotte area covers over 18 counties. And when you're talking about buying or selling in Charlotte, chances are you're not considering two thirds of those counties. So in this video, we will go over the latest housing numbers and trends I believe you should be aware of and how our market here in Charlotte is differing from the national market and where you might consider buying if you have a VA or FHA loan and why you should consider it. Be sure to stick around because buying a home may get a little more challenging if you don't position yourself correctly moving forward. Before we get started, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button. I want to be your go-to resource for all things real estate. And if you're watching this video, more than likely you're interested in the Charlotte market and my team and I can definitely help you. I'm Sir Ashley. I'm an investor and licensed realtor in North and South Carolina. And I would love to advise you and represent you on your upcoming home purchase or home sale. So bear with me. I've seen other people's reviews about the Charlotte real estate market, and I believe they're glossing over some of our local trends. And I like looking at the data and like providing you content regarding national trends so you know what's going on with the rest of the world. Because we don't just live in a bubble, but you have to remember, and you're probably tired of me saying this, that real estate is hyper local. And the truth of the matter is, Charlotte and the Charlotte area is deviating from the national trends or norms that you see from other real estate market updates. Come with me, let's hop on the computer so you can see what I see regarding pending home sales and how the market may be cooling off nationally. Now I headed over to redfin.com and just typed in data center. Now all this information is public knowledge and their data center provides you with tons of data regarding the market and conditions and trends. But what I like to look at or what I want to highlight right now is the pending sales because pending sales allow you to get a glimpse of what's occurring or what will occur in the next 30 to 60 days. Now I know this is a small sample size. It's just a month, but it is the day to day of what's happening right here in our market nationally. And then I want to compare it to what's happening in our local Charlotte market. And you see starting at the beginning of May to the end of June, the number starts decreasing. Now that's the national market. Now let's head over to the local Charlotte market. Now here we are, we jumped over to look at the local Charlotte real estate market. And again, our market is deviating from the norms nationally. Now for the last four weeks, pending sales have been declining nationally. Here in Charlotte, you actually see pending sales increasing. So from May to June, you see an increase in pending sales right here. Now for you buyers and sellers in the Charlotte market, you should both take this as good news. For sellers, I believe you should feel relieved in knowing that there is still a demand for your home, but don't get too ecstatic because inventory is increasing, not too much, but it is increasing and there are fewer buyers out there. So the good news for you buyers is that there are fewer buyers and there's going to be more options, more properties for you to choose from. So what do I mean you buyers have more opportunities to choose from? Well, right now at this time of the year, you have more options or more new listings hitting the market now than you did in 2018, 2019, and 2020. All right, remember in July, we look at June numbers. So in June of 2021, there was 2,000, over 2,000 new listings. Now in June of 2020, there was only 1,800 new listings. In June of 2019, there was only 1,900 new listings. And in June of 2018, there was only 1,900, almost 2,000 new listings. So again, right now in 2021, you have more options for new listings and new properties hitting the market than you did the prior three years. So buyers, I know it feels frustrating and it may seem there aren't many options available, but in reality, you have more options now than you did in the past four years. So if you're in the market or thinking about buying, now may be a good time to get off the sideline because there are options hitting the market and there will be only more options hitting the market for the next 30 to 90 days. Now at this point, I know some of you buyers out there are probably rolling your eyes and you're saying, yes, there might be more properties hitting the market, 
but those properties are more expensive than they were in 2018, 2019, and 2020. And to that, I say you are correct. Now, housing affordability is a serious challenge, but that's a topic for a whole other video. In Charlotte, the median sale price for June 2021 was just under $347,000, and the average winning price for an offer put in on a property was 2% above asking price. And the days on market is only 12, and the months of inventory is 0.7 months. Now, while that is an improvement of the 0.6 we've been seeing for the last three to four months, it's a negligible improvement, but I'll take it. Now let's change gears a bit and talk about where I've been seeing buyers with VA loans and FHA loans have success in getting their offers accepted. Now this is by no means a comprehensive study or search, but from my personal experience and from the real estate agents that I've been talking to and dealing with, buyers with an FHA loan and a VA loan have been having success with getting their offers accepted in South Carolina. Now, I know some people heard me say South Carolina and they automatically tune me out, but hear me out. Hear what I have to say. Offers in South Carolina are put together differently than they are in North Carolina. And typically you don't have to put down a crazy amount of money in your deposits, whether it's earnest money or due diligence. They have an entirely different structure in South Carolina. So in North Carolina, a lot of my FHA and VA buyers miss out because they don't put down a significant due diligence deposit. Well, in South Carolina, you don't have to worry about that quite as much. So if you're open to it and you're a VA or FHA buyer, seriously consider South Carolina. In South Carolina, in the greater Charlotte area, you have Fort Mill, you have Tiga K, you have Indian Land, awful name, but that's the name of the town. You have Rock Hill and Lancaster, just to name a few places I believe you should look at and their school districts are right on par, if not better than they are in Mecklenburg County or the surrounding North Carolina areas. Whether you're in the market to buy or sell a property, be sure to reach out to my team and I, so I can advise you and help you achieve your goals regarding your real estate journey. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. I'm Sir Ashley, talk soon. Talk to